I guarantee almost everyone living in the Western world has heard of the Romani before, even if they don't know them by that name. Their reputation truly does precede them, but the Romani, better known as gypsies in the United States and English-speaking world, have many misconceptions surrounding their origin and identity, and even the exonym gypsy is a bit of a misnomer perpetrated throughout the centuries, and may or may not be considered derogatory among Romani communities today. The iconic gypsy is actually quite prominent in American pop culture and media, often being portrayed as swindlers or con artists, with fortune tellers being almost synonymous with gypsy culture. Although in reality, the Romani are not an occupation or lifestyle, but rather a decentralized ethnic group scattered throughout many countries and regions, who have an identity crafted over the many centuries since their arrival in the continent as travelers and nomads. I have discussed the Romani in the past, and I attempted to tell both sides to the story, how the Romani communities of Europe do indeed have much higher rates of criminality, unemployment, and incarceration. However, they have without a doubt suffered major persecution in Europe and elsewhere, ranging from slavery in the Balkans to the near extermination of the Romani in Germany during the Holocaust. So it is heavily debatable as to whether their situation is a result of historic persecution or the other way around, but this video isn't going to argue over which came first, but rather give a brief history of the Romani, their modern lifestyle, and the many Romani subgroups today. A few months ago, we discussed the Anglo-Indian people, a unique ethnic group of mixed origin in the South Asian continent, being composed of English, other European, and various South Asian DNA, who have been located in the region for a few hundred years, while the Romani people are essentially a reversal of this, being instead descended from South Asian migrants to the European continent, although this particular group is far older than the Anglo-Indians. The story of the Romani begins over a thousand years ago with the migration of a group of South Asian tribes from northern India out of the subcontinent and into the neighboring Middle East, passing into the Balkans through Anatolia around the 14th century, which was at the time still a part of the Byzantine Empire, while the Roma in the Iberian Peninsula passed through North Africa and arrived around the 15th century a bit later. The Romani were originally believed by early Europeans to have actually originated in Egypt in the Byzantine Empire, and hence where their exonym Gypsy comes from. And even in Albania and Kosovo, to this day, Balkan Romani are sometimes referred to as Egyptians, although admittedly, up until a couple hundred years ago, no one really knew where the Romani came from, not even the Roma themselves. There are well-established Roma minorities in almost every single European country, with each having crafted a unique culture and identity with major influences from their home nation. Throughout the centuries, the Roma have earned a reputation as mysterious nomads, frequently voyaging from place to place, although they did occasionally settle down and form their own villages, which can be found throughout southeastern Europe, as well as neighboring Turkey, where the Roma still exist in large numbers. But many have adopted local Turkish customs, blending into the predominant society. The original religion of the Romani people was most likely Hinduism or another polytheistic faith, Although following the centuries of isolation from South Asia, they've adopted many of the surrounding religions, with around three-fourths of all Roma in Europe practicing Christianity today, most ascribing to the largest sect in their respective country, such as Orthodoxy in Bulgaria and Romania, or Catholicism in Slovakia and Hungary, while there are also large numbers of Muslim Roma in Turkey, and a significant number still incorporate elements of their original polytheistic religion in their everyday life. Even though the Romani are spread across every region of Europe, by far their highest concentration is in the Balkans region, namely the countries of Bulgaria, Romania, and Hungary. And although official statistics of ethnic identification in these countries certainly do exist, with Romani percentages for each ranging between 3 to 5 percent, the Romani identification may be slightly or significantly underreported due to many Romani not participating in government censuses or identifying with another ethnicity, and hence unofficial estimates for the real number of Roma varies considerably, although Roma most likely don't make up more than 10% of any given country. Judging by official government statistics, there are around 7 million Romani people in Europe, about 1% of the population, although the real number could easily be double this amount, while a few hundred thousand to a few million reside in Turkey, and 2 million or more reside outside of this region, mostly in the Americas. 
In recent years, ever since the ascension of the former East Bloc countries in Eastern Europe to the European Union, there's been an especially high emigration rate of Romani out of these countries and into neighboring Western European countries, which are seen as more tolerant and more opportunistic for the Roma people especially. And even though Romania and Bulgaria are not yet a part of the Schengen area, it's still significantly easier for Romanian and Bulgarian citizens to migrate to other areas of the EU than non-EU citizens. Large Romani neighborhoods or camps have begun to crop up in Italy, France, and Spain, comprised of their own Roma population, along with recent immigrants from Hungary, Slovakia, and other Central and Eastern European countries. The Dom people are a group very closely related to the European Romani, believed to have migrated from the same region of South Asia a couple of centuries after the first wave of Romani passed through the Iranian plateau, and are located all across Central Asia, the Middle East, and North Africa, sometimes being referred to as Middle Eastern Gypsies, numbering somewhere around 3 to 5 million people. The Domari and Romani languages have a common origin in the Rajasthani dialect of Western Hindi and share many traits with other Indo-Aryan languages such as Bengali and Punjabi. The Domari and Romani languages are some of the only Indo-Aryan languages to have developed outside the Indian subcontinent, other than the Rohingya language in Myanmar and the recently discovered language of Kolosi in southern Iran, spoken by only around 1,000 people today, and it's unknown whether they're related to the Dom or another western Indo-Aryan population. Because of the highly decentralized nature of the Romani people, the many dialects of the Romani language might not be mutually intelligible with one another, similar to other languages spread across a large area such as Arabic or Chinese. Although only 20 to 30 percent of Roma in Europe still speak a dialect of the Romani language today, in a fashion very similar to the Jewish population of Europe, many Roma have adopted the languages around them, while many still have developed mixed languages composed of Indo-Aryan and European vocabulary, such as Kahlo, which is mixed with Spanish and Portuguese, or the many mixed languages spoken by the pockets of Romani and Scandinavia. Essentially, the Romani have many similarities with the Jewish diaspora in Europe, both originating in another area of the world, the Jews originating in the Levant, and the Romani in South Asia. Both have heavily mixed with the surrounding European populations to such an extent that appearance is quite variable among their populations, and both groups have faced harsh discrimination in the recent past, both being prime targets for destruction by the Nazis. The phenotype of the Romani varies considerably, with some clearly being of more South Asian stock, while others have a more mixed complexion, while others still may be able to pass entirely as native Europeans, especially those living in areas further into the European continent, such as the Scandinavian Kahlo or the Irish Travelers. Although historically downtrodden and isolated from other populations in Europe, many Roma or people of partial Romani descent have been able to rise to prominence in European countries. Although generally, just like most other European populations, the Romani have seen the New World as far more of an opportunity for success than Europe. Areas of the world with large European-descended diasporas will almost always have Romani communities as well, especially in Latin America where the lines for racial identification are very blurry at times, and Romani descended from Gitanos in Spain fleeing the Inquisition to Latin America very often integrated into the white populations. The general ignorance of most early Americans over Roma identity and reputation allowed many to migrate to the U.S. and conceal their ethnic identity, leading to the general association of Gypsy with a lifestyle rather than an actual ethnic group, and the first Roma population to arrive in the U.S. were the Romanichal of the British Isles during the mid-1800s, with Eastern European Romani arriving in larger numbers during the Polish, Czech, and Slovak migration periods to the U.S., and there are perhaps over one million Americans of full or partial Roma descent today, arguably making them the largest community of any country in the world. Smaller numbers of Romanichal and Irish travelers also headed for Britain's other former colonies such as Canada, Australia, and South Africa, while Spain and Portugal's Roma population headed to their own American colonies, although as previously mentioned, they almost always integrated with the white population, and the only Latin American country that counts the Roma as an independent population is Colombia, where they're still severely undercounted in censuses. In Brazil, it's possible that the Roma number perhaps slightly more or less than that of the U.S., although a lack of a clear census count makes this difficult to determine. And children of Roma immigrants have fared significantly better than back in Portugal, 
And even former presidents of Brazil, Juscelino Kubitschek and Washington Luiz, were of partial Romani descent, the first and to date only elected national leaders of Romani origin in the world. Neither the Romani nor the Domari have their own sovereign states, due to their localized distribution not really making up a large proportion of any significant area of land, and due to this many Romani interest groups have cropped up in Europe in the modern age to protect their identity and traditions, and the Roma have been recognized as a non-territorial nation. Although it would be incredibly interesting to see what an independent Roma country would look like, similar to the plan that created Israel, but no such drafted plans have ever been taken seriously by any European or American country. And it's very important to realize that ethnic Romanians from the country of Romania fervently dissociate themselves with the Romani and take great offense at the conflation of the two names, although they are indeed very similar. Either way, the Romani's dress, language, culture, and way of life certainly distinguishes them from their neighbors, and they certainly have one of the more interesting origins of any European group. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on the Roma and Dom people of Europe, the Middle East, and the rest of the world, and perhaps just for fun, let me know where you think a potential Roma state could have been established. As always, thanks for watching everyone, this has been Mason, and I'll see you next time.